there's a lot of information that you can find when you're looking at a set of numbers. Uh, the average, the mode, the median. Um, today we're going to be focusing on just one idea, and that's finding the range of a set of numbers. Um, sometimes we'll call it a data set, sometimes we'll just say a list of numbers. But basically it's this. Um, look at this example one right here. We've got five numbers listed there, and we're going to find its range. What is the range? Um, basically, it's the difference between the largest and smallest numbers of that list of numbers. So you, you find your biggest number, you find your smallest number, and you subtract it. So the largest number that we have here is a 98. Bo's science test grade for that test was a 98, did really good. And then his lowest score was a 66. Uh, we subtract the, the lowest score from the highest score, and you'll see that the range is 32. Now, what does the range literally indicate? It's it's just um, how much variance there is from the highest score to the lowest score. Um, if we looked at the range of your test scores in, in this class, let's just say that the highest score is 100 and the lowest score was a 17, well, that would be an 83-point range. Uh, that would be a huge difference between the highest score and the lowest score. If we said that the, the highest test score is 100 and the lowest was an 86, that means everybody in the class got within 14 points of each other, and that would be a very small range. And so that's the idea of range. We're just trying to find the, the difference between the highest score and the lowest score. In this situation, we were just looking at Bose test scores, but we could do the range for any data set. Um, let's, let's look at um, some different situations here. How about you go find the range for 1 through 6, pause the video right now, and when you're ready, hit play, and uh, then you'll be able to see all six ranges uh, given to you at once. So hopefully at this point uh, you found the highest and lowest uh, value of each data set. Uh, we don't know if these are test scores or if they're the temperatures that uh, people recorded on different days. For instance, it could have been 51 degrees this day, 65 degrees another day, 84 degrees for two days in a row. You get the idea. Um, it, it could have been um, uh, the, the number of times that they sneeze during the day. We have no idea what these data sets represent. We just know it's a list of numbers, but all that we need to do is find the range. And uh, the red circled number is the highest number, and um, the blue is the lowest. And so we use those two to subtract them to find the range. So here we know that the range is 63. So the range for number one is 63. The range for number two is 51. The range for number three is 67. The range for number four would be 67 also. Uh, number five, the range will be 50. And the range for number six 91 minus 11 would be 80, and that's all that you do to find the range. Um, just to ensure that you know how to do this, though, and to give you a little bit more practice, uh, go find the range in this situation. Hit play when you're ready. So here we go. We've, we've got the, the times of the runners uh, that Rachel recorded uh, from the race on Saturday. And um, what we have to do is find the range. One thing that you may want to do is get in the habit of rewriting your data and then arranging it from least to greatest. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to see the smallest and biggest numbers there, or the minimum and maximum of the data set. And as you can see, that's exactly what I've just done there is I've rearranged them. And here are the two numbers that we need to subtract, 54 minus 47. And that gives us a very small range of 7. So all of the data that she collected was within 7 minutes of each other. Try it for number 8. Hit play when you're ready. OK. Uh, so the following are temperatures recorded during a chemistry experiment. And um, let's go through and rearrange them from smallest the biggest. So 29 is the smallest, then 40, excuse me, 38, then 43, 46, 57, 68, and 79. And so um, our smallest is 29, our largest is 79. So 79 minus 29 
is 50. So our range is 50. There's a 50 degree difference between the highest number and the smallest number between the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature. Oops, sorry, skipped over one. Here's number nine. Uh, go see uh, about Anna Kate that's shopping for an MP3 player. Uh, she's pricing them at four different stores uh, online. Uh, there's the prices. It's the range of prices she found. So here we go. Uh, here's the four prices. Let's order them. And when you do that again, it just reduces a, a chance to make a mistake. I know for the smaller problems like these where it's only got three or four numbers, it's not that big of a deal. But um, when you're working with like 27, 28 different numbers, uh, it can get to be an issue. And so we just want to teach you good habits early on. And so the range is actually ten dollars and eleven cents. Um, that's, that's quite a bit of a difference there between the two stores. Excuse me, four stores. Here's the very last one that we're going to do today. Uh, Twelve girls in troop four twenty one. So the following number of boxes of cookies: twenty two forty, thirty five fifty, twenty eighteen sixty five, fourteen seventy eight, one ninety ten, and ten. What was the range of number of boxes of cookies sold by the girls in troop four twenty one? Hit play when they're ready. The maximum was 190. The minimum was 110. Subtract the two, and we see that the range is 180. So uh, that's that's quite a bit of variance there. Of course, at, at the same time, you'll notice that there's only one person that sold more than 100 boxes. Uh, so it looks like there's quite a few that was more around the 10, 20, 30 boxes range than there were those uh, selling almost 200 uh, boxes there. So I hope you've got a, a good idea of what uh, finding the range means and the information that it uh, can be used to give you. Um, basically, it's just where you're trying to see uh, how much of a, a variance or a difference there is between the highest number and the lowest number. And it, it puts in a perspective when you know the situation that you're looking at. Hey, some people sold a lot of uh, boxes and then others just sold probably just to um, their parents and maybe one or two friends. And um, you know, it just helps put the problem a little bit more into perspective.